Uh, welcome to this seminar. Uh, my name is Jan Gradvall. I'm a Swedish music journalist. And it's an honor to have here and to introduce Mr. Tony Allen. I know you, you have been doing quite a lot of music with Damon Alban from yeah. Blur. Yeah. And Blur did a song, yeah. Music is my radio, I think, where yeah. one of the lines was, Tony Allen got me dancing. Yeah. Did, did, did you hear that Blur song then? Well, he, had, he did that when I never even met him. I never saw him before, you know. Mm. That was it. And I said, oh, this Blur guy is thinking about it. It's from rock. Rock was, I mean, relating to Afrobeat, making me, you know, me making him dancing. Mm. Well, I looked at it, I said, well, that's great. But that's why I invited him when I was recording my, my album, uh, Home Cooking. Um, and you I recorded was, that I, in Lagos, yeah. Yes, yeah, the yeah. album was recorded in Paris, Lagos, mm -hmm. ended up in London. Um, looking for, I was using guests, different guests on this album, you know, and the last track was, who is going to sing this last track? We were in London trying to to do the mix, mm. and the, those producers, they just suggested Damon, that, oh, why not Damon? I said, Damon, why? He said, oh, he sang about you making him dance. Mm. So <laughs> 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 we had a meeting at the pop, I mean, I had some few drinks, and then he asked me, do you want me to sing on your, they said, you want me to sing on your album? I said, yeah. And then we went to Nigeria, we went to Lagos. So you, Damon Alban, and Paul Simonon from The Clash, who no. was in the band? No, it was before. Not that. yet, yeah, no, no, not, not yet. yet no. So we have gone mm -hmm. to Lagos to record the whole ab album. And because the, we have used diff many guests in Lagos, mm -hmm. At the end of the day, the old, the old band will become like twenty-piece band. <laughs> so, so, so we finished the music, and then uh, he just called me. He said, "Oh no, Tony, you know." He said, ah, "I don't think I don't think we are going to use this uh, project." He said, "We are not going to use it." You know. I said, oh, "So, so we just wasted the money for yeah everything like that." He said, "Well, he said no, not really." He said, "We should." Um, we, should, we should start to rewrite more to bring the band down to, uh, I mean, small, small group. There are some bass players that they, they play a lot. Yeah. He, he wanted somebody that's not going to play a lot. No, no. He, somebody that can just hold it down, make it, make it strong, you know. And then... That's when uh, we've tried different bass players mm. until he went to dig out um, Paul Simonon. Paul had him, uh, <laughs> Paul had stopped playing 15 years. You know, he was just painting. Yeah. Just painting in the house, you know. Never touched the bass anymore, you know. Mm. And Damon brought him on <laughs> into the studio and said, let's uh, work with this guy. Oh, yeah, Paul Simonon from Clash. I say, yeah. It was difficult for Paul for in the beginning to to play with me because my drumming is kind of different. Yeah. You see, my approach is different. And so I have to sit down with him, you know. So I say, yeah, I know why you're having problems. Yeah, but it's like this. I said, don't think about it. You just... Listen to yourself. Don't, I said, don't listen to me. <coughs> I said, then we can, we can get it done. <laughs> so, had, had, had you listened anything to like the, the, the Clash b b b before, before that? Did you have any relation to their music? No, really, no. you know, not really, not really. I, I just know Joe Stroma. I know Joe Stroma himself, you know, uh, in the studio with Dave Stewart, you know, and uh, um, it was passing in the studio and uh, says from the clash, you know. They, they, they were not playing anymore at that mm. time anyway. No, no. So, and uh, I, I gave him my, my white label album. 
uh, uh, which is that uh, home cooking. Yeah. Mm. I gave him the vinyl, mm. and uh, uh, he died just few few months later. Mm. You know. So now I met I met I met Paul yeah. for the first time mm. in the studio. When I saw then I started to listen to Clash. Yeah. <laughs> to just know what. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. No. Mm. I listened to your the No Discrimination album right. from 1979, the mm. same year as yeah, yeah, the Clash London yeah. Calling. And they're not that apart, actually, with the lyrics and sort of this melting pot of music. Yeah. So yeah. you had something very in, 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 in common on different continents. Yeah, for sure, you know, because, you know, I, I've been thinking about doing my music that way. That, that way. I, I was not able to do that with Fela producing my mm. album, you know. So because he wouldn't do it, he wouldn't do anything I asked for. No. Yeah. So and my my intention is mm. to to, to not mm. play like him. No. You know, I want to have my way of playing my Afrobeat. You know. Mm. You told me right now you are working again with Damon Albarn and the yeah. Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's next month. This album is going to be out next month. Although we had we had few guests on on it, you know, but uh, basically it's three of us: Damon, me, and Flea, mm. you know. And uh, I think you, 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 that's it's called it's called the Rocket Juice and the Moon. Yeah, <laughs> which is <laughs> any explanation behind the name. I wouldn't know. No, no. It's, 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 it's Damon. I was asking him. Yeah. I, said, I was asking him where, 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 where did you get this from? Yeah. He said, he just told me. He said, to the just, it's rocket juice and the moon. I said, who is the rocket? I said, who is the juice and who is the moon there? I guess. Mm. <laughs> because I remember the goodie band, the Queen. It, you know. So always, I always mention. I always tell him that. Oh yeah, the good. Mm. Yes. I said that's you. Mm. I said so. The bad is me. Mm. <laughs> I said, so the queen is who is the queen? Mm. I said, it's Paul Simon mm. and uh, Paul, Paul Tung, uh, Simon Tong. Mm. You know, we make jokes, you know. Yeah, yeah. So this time around, it's rocket juice and the moon. Yeah. I said, well, I don't know where we are anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>